Hello viewers, welcome back to yet another interesting video from Science Facts History Channel where ignited minds come for enlightenment. Who hasn't run a marathon yet? No one. It has become an urban fashion these days to run a marathon once in a while and post it all over social media as if you do it every day. Well, jokes apart, Marathon has been a key sporting event across all major athletic competitions. Starting from the ancient Olympics, way back in 776 BC to its modern editions that we see today, Marathon has been an inseparable part of all major athletic and sporting events. But did you know the secret behind its name? Well, let me explain. Marathon is in fact a place in Greece. The place is significant not due to the athletic even named after it but due to one of the greatest and bloodiest battle ever fought in the human history. Sometimes a battle is just an insignificant blip in the war and at other times it can shift the very course of history. The battle of Marathon that took place in 490 BCE between the citizens of Athens and the Persian Empire was one such crucial battle in the annals of human history. The Battle of Marathon is significant not just because the underdogs won but also because of the legend of courage, sacrifice and determination. Darius I, the leader of Persia, Babylon, Egypt and India decided to become the leader of Greece as well. But the Greeks, armed with only javelins and swords, defeated the much larger and better equipped Persian army in the plains and waters of Marathon. What we remember today is the story of the messenger named Phenipides who brought the good news of the Greek victory to Athens, the capital of Greece. Upon completing his 26 mile run, the legend says that Phaedipides delivered the news of Greek victory with the word Neni Kekamen, which means we won, we won. He then collapsed and died out of exhaustion. Today the word marathon means a foot race of exactly 26 miles and 385 yards. The exact distance run by Phaedipides. An alternate version according to Herodotus says that an Athenian runner named Phaedipides was sent to run from Athens to Sparta to seek assistance before the battle. He ran a distance of over 225 kilometers which is roughly 40 miles arriving in Sparta the day after he left. Then following the battle Athenian army marched the 25 miles or so back to Athens from Marathon at a very high pace. Now considering the quantity of armor and the fatigue after the battle, this is really significant. This was done in order to head off the Persian force sailing around Cape Saunion. They arrived back in the late afternoon in time to see the Persian ships turn away from Athens. Thus completing the Athenian victory. Whatever be the reality, Battle of Marathon was a watershed in the Greco-Persian Wars, showing the Greeks that Persians could indeed be beaten and defeated. The eventual Greek triumph in these wars can be seen to have begun at Marathon. Only 192 Athenians are said to have died in the battle, whereas there were 6400 casualties from the Persian side. The Greeks destroyed seven Persian ships as well. The battle showed the Greeks that they were able to win battles without the Spartans as they had heavily relied on Sparta previously to fight their wars and battles. This victory was largely due to the Athenians and Battle of Marathon raised 
great esteem of them. The following 200 years saw the rise of the classical Greek civilization which has been enduringly influential in the Western society and so the Battle of Marathon is often seen as a pivotal moment in the Mediterranean and European history. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also please do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you receive instant notification on all our future videos. Thank you for staying tuned. Have a great day.